Some of these unmanned aerial vehicles are wicked. Not like East Coast wicked, like literally wicked. One's got a taser. Hey people, thanks for watching DNews Today, I'm Trace. Drones are awesome, and they are poised to change our lives in a lot of ways. The technology is advancing so fast, it's revolutionizing everything from logistics and film to military and concert food delivery. One of the coolest new drone ideas is coming out of Chaotic Moon in Austin, Texas. Funnily enough, at South by Southwest, Barry, our executive producer, ran into them, and I didn't get to go this year, but he called up his friend Mike North from Discovery's Prototype This, who was heading down, and he got to talk to him. Here he is. Thanks, Trace. I'm down here at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas, and I've been looking for the coolest, hottest things that are popping, and I think I found it. I'm here with Whirly at Chaotic Moon, and we're about to hear about Taser Drones. It is a drone, it's a little more of a UAV, and we call it Cupid, the Chaotic Unmanned Personal Intercept Drone. How does it work? Talk me through it. So we want to start raising awareness to the public of the technologies that are available today. Uh, we started with this demonstration knowing it would be kind of purposely inflammatory, uh, and created a semi-autonomous, autonomous drone that has a uh, 80,000 volt stun gun, essentially, in it. And so the scenario was, somebody crosses your property line, uh, the alarm goes off, the thing flies out and greets them, it calls your cell phone, it says authorize or detain. If you say detain, it kind of robocops them, right? It says, you know, please kneel, you know, sit on your knees with your hands behind your head, the authority's been called, it can do an automated kind of 911 call and all that. Um, but then, of course, if it's you go away, then it, the software says, okay, you're not a threat, and if you keep advancing, then it can decide, you know, if and when it were to, to stun you. The project's interesting because the goal was achieved. We wanted to start a debate with the public in general, and there's people who absolutely hate this, and there's people who absolutely love this. This is this wide gamut of technology that we don't think about. We, It's kind of this thing, people see movies, they play video games, in the video games there's a drone that chases you and does this, and people think of that as that, ooh, in 2020, and 2040, and 2060, we'll have those things. A lot of that technology exists right now in the world, people are just unaware of it, but there are people working with it, there are technologies that are dangerous, and there are things that probably do need to be regulated. But we need to make that decision as a society. Well, and everyone thinks about, you know, drones, Skynet, and Terminator, and that whole scary world. But there's a lot of applications for drones that are going to do a lot of good in this world. In the debate that we started, we wanted to use kind of a pendulum of effect. So we wanted to start with the Cupid project and get people kind of riled up, but get them discussing it, and then swing completely opposite to good. So we're working with a uh, animal shelter here, and we have a new uh, drone that we'll be hopefully releasing a video soon that takes uh, kittens to sad people. Um, and it's a very interesting project. It's actually a real project, and that people will actually be hopefully adopting the, the kittens. Uh, I'm Sorry. <laughs> I need a little moment here. <laughs> it's a tearjerker. Oh, yeah. Tasers the kittens. I love it. Oh, man. I want a cool drone so bad. Maybe Mike can bring one back up here to San Francisco. What would you do if you had a fully customizable drone? I would totally just have it hold my jacket because I've actually lost two this week. Stick around for a minute and leave a comment below with your plans and see if you can find my tan jacket because I miss it.